Welcome back to Self Built. Today I'm going to be sharing with you one of my favorite training intensities that I've made up. It's combining a couple different into one single intensity. And if you're looking for something new and a way to challenge yourself, definitely try this out. So what I like to call this training intensity are top to bottom sets. It's basically combining partial reps, force negatives, and time under tension into one giant burrito of gains. And you can use this on basically any type of body part that you want to do. I've been incorporating it with chest, back, legs, shoulders, basically anything you can think of, arms. It's been really good. Now I'm going to show you what I mean by just using the Smith machine for some incline press. All right, so I'm all set up. I like to do this on the last working set of the exercise. You can do it any time that you want, but I feel like after you've already kind of fatigued, filled your blood full of muscle, filled your muscle full of blood, this is just a great way to just finish it off and destroy the muscle. Now, I'm gonna demo it before I actually do it. And what I like to do is I like to take the portion of the range of motion that is least used. So, towards the top is where I'm gonna start. And this is where the partial reps comes in. So I'm gonna go down a little bit. And there's no rules. You can go halfway down or you can go a couple inches down. Basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna be pumping all the way until you fatigue in this part, range of motion. And then you're gonna just start slowly sinking and you just fight it the whole way through. So there's a ton of time under tension, a lot of different partials and you're basically just completely failing. So it's just a big giant negative. And if you're doing something like chest, make sure there's a way you can bail or you have a setup that makes it so you can do that. With this, being on a Smith machine, everybody knows you can just lock it. So you're safe doing it that way. You can use dumbbells if you're wanting to do chest, but this is an awesome way to just completely burn out chest and also focus on weak points or ranges of motions that you don't really hit very often. So I'm just gonna start just like this. And you wanna choose a weight that's not super heavy, but also not super light. Otherwise you're just doing a super long rep and it can be kinda <laughs> more torturous than it needs to be. But just keep focusing on that muscle that you're using. I'm not trying to use triceps or anything. I'm just trying to use mostly chest and you can see I'm starting to go down and you're just fighting it the whole way. And then I like to save my triceps so I can push it up so I don't get squished. But you can do that a couple times. Depends on how tired you are, really. If I like to sometimes do that, and then I'll drop the weight a little bit, do the same thing over, and then just rip as many out as I can. But I think I'll do just one more, just to get a little extra on this top part. I feel like, especially for chest, most people use the lower portion a lot on chest. Because when you fail, you can only go so far up, so this top portion really gets neglected. Ooh. Okay. Whew. So that is just a fun way to just finish it. And if you've got a partner, they could definitely make it so it's even longer, or they can help you get it back up after you hit the bottom. It's just super fun. So give that a try on anything, it's a lot of fun, but make sure it's under control, a good weight, and then give it all you got. And here's another example of using that same intensity with something different. This is what I'm doing with, a, it's basically like a free weight landmine press that people like to do. If you haven't seen it before, I've got some videos talking about it, but what I'm gonna do is basically the same thing is since it's a pressing movement, this top portion is not used a whole lot. So this is where I'm gonna start. And I'm just gonna focus on squeezing that chest. 
I don't really care so much about shoulders or triceps right now. It's all about just feeling that chest and just fighting it all the way from the top to the bottom. Ooh. And if you got some juice, or if you're feeling spicy, go for another one right here. Oh man. Yeah, just on fire. You can also lighten the weight and go again. Just focus. Do some nice controlled reps and then back into it. Whew. Or just hold if you ain't got the juice. That's what I'm talking about. So that is the training technique, top to bottom reps. I call them something else too, but I'm not gonna say it on my channel. So give it a try, tell me what you think in the comments or some cool ways we can tweak it to make it even better. So let me know, I'm all ears. If you like the video, give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe. You can follow me on TikTok, Instagram, or you can buy some sweet self-built merch in the comments below. And we'll see you next time on Self-Built.